Greetings, Internet. I am Ken from the Computer Clan here today to show off 10 great tips for Final Cut Pro 10. Tip number one is a rather simple one. Let's say you are really zoomed into your timeline and you quickly want to get a bird's eye view of all of your timeline. Shift Z is zoom to fit. This also works in the viewer. If you want to keep reviewing a certain area of the timeline without rewinding, Command L is a simple shortcut to loop playback. And then using the forward slash allows you to playback just a certain selection. The next shortcut is Command 6. This will bring you to the color board. If a clip doesn't have any color correction applied, a new color corrector will be automatically added. And feel free to make changes to this footage as it loops. Final Cut Pro will keep playing in real time while edits are being made. Thanks to the awesome magnetic timeline, deleting clips automatically moves stuff over and closes gaps. However, if you want to make a gap, press Shift, Delete. Final Cut Pro's main tools are kept under this menu, and simple keyboard shortcuts are used to trigger them. A simple press of each key will toggle the tool on. However, you can disable the toggling by pressing and holding a key. For example, you can press and hold the B key for the blade tool, make the changes in your timeline with the edits, and then release the B key to immediately switch back to the previous tool. Another useful tip is if you accidentally use the blade tool in the wrong space, the join clips command can be used to bring the clips back together and remove the seam. Clip connections are useful, so certain parts of the timeline stay connected to the main footage. However, there are times where this is not necessary. To override this automatic action, hold down the grave accent. This will allow you to switch footage and disable the connections, temporarily. The Final Cut Pro timeline allows you to adjust the volume of a clip up to plus 12 decibels. If your footage is too quiet and this is not loud enough, consider adding an audio unit called the Dynamics Processor. This will allow you to add additional gain to the audio of your footage. Once the effect is applied, open up the Inspector window, switch to the Audio tab, and expand the parameters for the Dynamics Processor. Adjust the Master Gain slide as necessary. Another useful tip is a user can hold down the Command key for more fine-tuning of the audio in the timeline. The Range tool can work with the audio adjustment tools in the timeline to automate audio getting quieter and louder. Simply select a range and then adjust the audio in the timeline. Keyframes will automatically be made. So that's it! 10 great tips for Final Cut Pro 10. If there's anything else you want to know about Final Cut Pro or maybe another program, feel free to hit me up in the comments section below or on Twitter or on any other social network that is part of the Computer Clan. I hope you'll learn something and I will see you in the not-too-distant future. Would you like to check out our comedy series? If so, you can watch the season finale right here. Or perhaps you'd like to watch our Daishokan cosplay music video. If so, you can click right here.